Graphics cards are still 1.3 to 1.5 times more expensive. However, the situation is getting better each day and we finally have a few GPUs that have dropped in their prices significantly compared to the other graphics cards. Let's take a look at the GPUs which saw the steepest price decline this week. But before that, a word from the sponsor. If you want the cheapest OEM Windows 10, Windows 11 or Microsoft Office, Keysoft.com is the perfect place to shop for this software. Keysoft is having a spring sale which is offering great discounts on packages. You can now get Microsoft Office 2019 for only $34 with Windows 10 Pro for absolutely free. Or you can get the Office 2021 with Windows 10 Pro for only $48. US and the best part is that Keysoft is also providing 50% discount on Windows 10 and 11. All you need to do is add Windows to the cart and apply the coupon VKB50 and you will get Windows 10 Pro for only $7.58. Learn more from the links in the description below. The RTX 3080 Ti was selling for around $2000 for most of the time and with GPU market crashing, pricing was down to somewhere $1600 to $1800. However, this week saw the lowest prices for the RTX 3080 Ti, where some editions are selling for as low as $1400. In case you don't remember the official MSRP of this card due to this eternal shortage, Nvidia priced it at $1200. This card, however, did not provide the best value for the money compared to RTX 3080 or even the 3090, which is of course very expensive. But currently, no GPU except for one or two have come so close to the MSRP and the 3080 Ti has also joined the list. Meanwhile, some cards are still selling for more than $1600 with one edition from MSI close to $1500. Good thing is that it is not the only card that has become cheaper than before. The RX 6900 XT has also seen a major price change since the last month. Many editions of RX 6900 XT are now selling for $1,300 to $1,400 which makes it much more reasonable than the RTX 3090. However, the 3080 Ti and the 6900 XT are very close in performance with the former being better at ray tracing and therefore a better choice for high-end gaming. Now, if we come to the budget GPU category, the RX 6500 XT has also become way cheaper than it was ever before. The 6500 XT's poor performance due to the PCI lens limitations have kept most gamers away from it. But at the suggested $200 MSRP, considering that you have a motherboard that features PCI E4.0, this card is still fine for many gamers. While it is still selling for more than $250 on most online retail sites, some editions are selling for less than $250. But there are a few online stores where this card was previously seen selling for less than the suggested MSRP. If you remember, a German online store Mindfactory.de was selling the Ace Rock ITX RX 6500 XT for 199 euros, which before the tax deduction comes close to 182 US dollars. As Germany applies a VAT of 19%, the official MSRP in Germany for this card is 209 euros. Now this time, Mind Factory has two more RX 6500 XT cards that are selling even lower than before. This 6500 XT from PowerColor was selling for only 169 euros. Another card from PowerColor that features dual fans was selling for just 179 euros. Previously, it was thought that the 6500 XT won't sell for less than $250 as the wafer cost at TSMC is now more expensive which will make a permanent 10 to 20% price increase in the upcoming GPUs. However, I think due to being a poor value card, AMD is now wanting to sell the 6500 XT for a lower price as even the previous gen cards like the 5500 XT or even the RX 580 are a better choice for less than $200. Now at a price of $150, the RX 6500 XT is surely a good buy but it's not the same in every country. Every country has some price differences, however, majority of those have seen some good dip in GPU prices. I hope that the prices of GPUs keep going down week after week and we can finally build a gaming PC without overspending on the GPUs. If you like this video, then you will also like this video right here which explains the difference between FSR, FSR 2.0 and the RSR. Make sure you watch that video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.